hey guys um this is code word this is a david your ezekiel aka code word so i'm here now to teach you today on how to make a database connected to your login page just watch out this is very easy to do you just have to just put you on this thing and put every every attention to what i'm going to do today because it's going to help you a lot and if you have any questions just so ask please kindly ask um kindly put it down to my comment section send it down to my email through my youtube and i will answer your question trust me so um today the first thing you need to do is just create your sign up page um okay this is the assignment page login dot no let's let's say um try dot htl um note when you're trying to connect your database to your um login page your work i mean your code your login page code must be saved with dot php extension because it only uses dot php extension we don't use html for connecting database even most times we want to use your um you only want to store your login page in your server either on live server web server you need to connect you need to just store your extension i mean this this stuff you need to store it with just php i'm using visual studio code so in case you want to know the kind of um editor i'm using i'm using visual studio code you can use webstorm you can use webstorm you can use sublime tests you can use intelligent ID. you can use um netbeans let me also also write code can use them also so let's move on so if you're getting it um please just focus so i have a short cut here but my code is going to be going to pop up so type to database from so now in a body I'm um, sorry please I want to show you if I when you want to connect your database to your um to your login page your file must be stored in your ZAM, your ZAM folder. And in your ZAM folder, where you can see your ZAM folder, you come straight to local disk here. And from local disk, you come to your ZAM. Then from your ZAM, you click. After clicking on it, you see what we call the HD docs. That is where we store all our HTML files. You store your HTML docs. See your HTML docs here. Then you see our try is here dot php already so this is your in our code here stored with dot php you can wonder that how is this code going to run having a notepad icon don't worry it's going to run i will be sure to run it so let's go on so after it's been stored here um So I'm coming on um, this top. Coming on to show you a code.
so these codes here they are called php code php validation code so this is what we call the db and the new mysql local host roots and your um your database name this is called your database name so this is a constant word for connecting to database which is called the root we also have what they call local host we are using local host here and not an uh, not online server so using local host which is our zamp or our warm because it's not connected to the internet so this is my sql um, connect error if my sql connect error if it is error and if the connection is not connected it is not connected um it's going to pop up error echo uh, it's going to pop up wrong connection and if it is connected it's going to pop up connected so if it sets dollar post submit username um if you are you use a variable we call it that to create a string variable in um php is that to connect a string variable is that to um create a variable it's for a string a string variable a string means test um in php so from here then this 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 don't forget your p your name here i mean this the words that are going to be written in all these brackets must be the same with the with your with this with, uh, with the name you created in your login page must be the same with this not the same with this the code is not going to run trust me so it must be the same so um from there um um sorry i made a mistake i mean the code here the code here must be the same um, with this must be the same with this must be the same with the codes here you get so we are storing them in this and this one must be the same with the, with the, um, the, the name we use is storing it in your database so I will show you how it is done so just I just want to explain how this code is before using it you can also copy the code in case you might need it and be helpful just to make you understand more so let's go back so our log is all right which has to do code and now let's go to the body um um leave id leave um Because we don't have um, an action yet, so we just put our action to be empty. Then just make our action empty. And after making our action empty, we put also um uh um our method method our method equals to make sure every your method for your login must be post just for security purpose so um we will Type equals to test this order equals to 
examine value equals to name equals to ID equals to Um, required okay so um, let's copy this just to make our work faster Just have, we are having three. Yes, three now. Just um, your username, your email, password um, are we good to go so is this correct um, just check out. Let's check out. Let's check out. If there's any error. And after this, don't forget to put our submit button. So, um, button type. Let's see, button class equals to btn value equals to submit. Um. Type equals to submit. So you see if okay 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 are we getting it um just now let's copy our um php code hope you can see it clearly um in case you might need the source code you can just um email me um i will send you the source code um, feel free to email me feel free to, feel free to um test me for any teaching purpose i'm, I'm ready to do it just, just need to please subscribe um like share and just click on the notification button in case and if, in case i upload new videos so this place um let me use my comments section to explain you um you are to write your database that's right the database name here which you created in example so um so now let's put our database name and database name is what I'm going to use in the database i'll create it you see how i create it we are going to use um what we call um youtube 
YouTube. It's going to be our database name. So watch out. Let's create our database name. So um, oh, all this is intact. So now you come here. We have a record exam. It's loading. Still loading, please. I'm sorry. Um, taking time. Okay, so um, let's continue. So we have our exam control panel as a local host. So now let's start. So now you come to this Apache, you start it. I mean, this. And you come to these two, you start your MySQL. And your MySQL, um, you click on admin. Don't click on the Apache admin. I'm going to give you wrong stuff. Click on the MySQL admin. Okay, what are we waiting for? What are we waiting for? We're waiting for this, right? Um, it's loading. Sorry, it's loading. It's loading. Um, it's loading, it's loading, it's loading. Uh, why it's loading? Let's just try. Um, let's try put. Uh, PHP file. Okay, it's already processed. I um, hope you enjoy my video. I'm um, just calm down. I teach just very easy. I do rush, so you will be able to get what I'm teaching. Um. If you just calm your nerves down, just <laughs> you're gonna learn a lot, you're gonna learn a lot. You're gonna learn a lot. Just trust me. Subscribe, um, like, share, just click on the look my notification button just in case I I just upload new video. So you'll be able to watch my new videos, um just please because the more you subscribe, the more I upload more content. So please just subscribe, like, share. Um, thank you. This is my um, local host. This is my database. Um, now we have a lot of using. We have a lot of stuff here, which you can use the exam for. So um, I we the main purpose we are here is is to just create a database. So now you come to the site called new. Click on new. It's loading, it's loading, it's loading. So remember, we said we're going to create a database name called um, YouTube. So if you come to this site back again and create and write the YouTube, remember, you must give you use um, lowercase or small letters or true to create your database name. Your HTML code. Don't forget that you must use the same name, the same lowercase to create it in your database. So you write YouTube, then you create, click on create. Database YouTube has been created.
So you to bring it to another page. Um, and you write. <coughs> sorry, excuse me. So you write um the same name you took again. Is that it for your table name? So I prefer you writing your database name as a, as a table name. I prefer it. So um, how to know the number of columns you want to use? This is it. In your database, you have two exceptions which are compulsory, which are constant in your database. It is called the ID and the date. The ID, the work of the ID, it's just it lists um your every data stored in database. It lists them accordingly and it makes them um it it, it, it it makes them numbered. It, it always numbered them. So you make them like one, two, three, four, like the first data will be one, second data two, third data three. Like I mean the first person data of one, second person data of two. And the work of the date is just to write the date the date which the person who entered the data into your login form, the date the person entered the data. So that is the work of the date. Just to put your date there so you know the date this person actually entered your site. So if you're having a username, password and email, you should know that you're creating five columns which will be which you're counting your date, your ID, your username, your password, and your email. And if you are creating a, a registration, um, if you are creating a, a register form, you know you, in register form you have your first name, last name, email, password, and confirm password. But most some website doesn't have confirm, confirm password. But in some they have confirm password, they have um they have confirm password, they have password, they have your um, um email their first name and last name so we have your first name one set um last name two um email three um password four confirm password five and your date six and your id will be seven so hope you understand how to create your columns now so now we are creating five columns here because you understand how what, what just a symbol creating a simple login form so you we really have five so you click on go um let's take it to another page again So this is it. This is where you're going to do your work. It's just simple. It's calm down. Everything, everything will get to you. So just your name. You put your ID here. Your ID comes first. And be careful with what you click, what you press here, what you press in this um, table, because what you press in this table will be the one to just um, actually show off when you are true careful just don't use shortcut too much <laughs> because i understand doing such problems when it's not bs code so um username remember i told you about this lower key store that is more it must be the same thing with what you input in your um php code i mean yeah this stuff here i use lower case i do not use this upper case i use this lower case because if you check out my form here, if you check out my form here, um, I use lower case here. So this stuff here must be the same thing with what is in my or my database. It must be the same thing. If it is not the same, then your PHP code is not going to store. It's not the data are not going to be stored with your database. So this stuff here. This stuff here must be the same thing with what is here. So let's continue. So username, email, password. I prefer you using lowercase or true 
just I prefer I prefer except this date and ID I prefer using the word because this is an ID it won't be your PHP code so as, as I said I prefer using lower keys throughout your um your all these stuff so password so your ID will be int just we don't change it and your username will be test your email will be test also your password will be test you just don't mind to be test just don't mind to be test um your date will be time timestamp here timestamp timestamp um the value like how many data do you want to uh, do you want the id to count so i prefer using 11 11 is still okay you can use that i can use uh, as much numbers you want like you can use your 20 you can use 15 you can use any amount but i prefer using i prefer using 11 just for simple data simple login from just like for using 11 so you can use any amount you want you can use any amount you want but i prefer using 11 that is why so my default here will be none 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 but in my dates i need to put my current time stamp so to show me the current date or the current time which um when the user input the data so here you come here i want you guys to understand that is why i'm doing it slowly so you come here you click on ai so with this this side you click on ai you to pop up um the dialog box the dialog box telling you to choose um without primary but we are using primary because that is what you have to use so you click on go primary you see it so you write primary also in your comments side at this side you write primary so um at this attributes attribute side um you come here you click on on current on update current timestamp you on it then here you save so um hope you enjoy my video please as you're watching please 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 i love you please just please help me just subscribe um to my channel like um just like share just please please so database is already created have you seen it id username email password dates so now let's input the data let's check our login form which we've written so far okay this is how to run this um this code which you write in php form um this is how to do it you come to your exam you open your htdocs -HD file sorry please yes we save it as try So um you come to this side. See this thing is writing five columns slash 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 see this dot this directory delete them. Yeah. 
you see you're, you're only having slash try.php so at this side you put local posts local hosts have you seen it this is it local host slash try.php and make sure check if your listen is on can you see it is it, it is on that is the on so this is the login form we just did now connected have you seen it connected you can also check whether your um zamp is connected or your php code is connected you can see it's connected so i can require that you use my login form makes it pop up if my human is not filled up so um it is filled up now so login it is sent to database so now let's check you refresh your database you refresh mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I hope you're enjoying my video. Just relax. Stay calm, stay cool, stay fresh, stay connected. Ellen. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Click on browse. Click on browse here. Yeah. I mean, yeah, you click on browse. to bring out um it bring out some data here so my square return an empty result set stop 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 so youtube um, let's refresh Our data is not yet. Our data is not yet. So we have to name our summits. Sorry for that. Name equals to. Submit.
sorry. Let's change this to input type equals to submit. Equals to submit. Thank you. Okay. Come let me quiz the brightness of my screen so you can see things well. Okay. So let's check our database. I just want to check if my spellings are correct. You need to.
So can you see an example of how it is? So now. Oh, I'm very, very sorry. So, can you see how our mistake is? Can you see where our mistake is? Our mistake is over here. I use my former database which I use on my login page. So um I'll I'll change it back to the YouTube which is the new one we created. So it is what we call a programmer, I just show it you now. Um this is what we call a program. It's not easy. Insert into all our values. Blah 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 blah. So Check. Let's input another data here.
Trying to repair my codes. You can also grab from this. Let's use um 
follow me. But once you're already where I got to, then you're good to go. Just move on from there. Test. Let's see if it is stored. I've already seen it. It is stored. Is it kill? Let's put in another. Okay, so we're expecting to save, right? Okay. Expecting to save around this side. Have you seen the work of the dates? 2021, 4, 7, this, this. So this is it. So thank you for watching. Please kindly subscribe, um, like, share, and please. So in my next video, I'm going to teach you how to how data is going to um, enter into your database. So please can you subscribe, like, um, share, please click on the notification button because my next video is going to help you a lot. Thank <laughs> you.